and before Hellmouth, dry plain and two mountains, on the one mountain a running form and another, in the turn of the hill, in hard steel, the road like a slow screw's thread, the angle almost imperceptible, so that the circuit seemed hardly to rise, and the running form, naked, black, arms, the swift limbs howling against the evil, his eyes rolling, whirling like flaming cartwheels, and his head held backward to gaze on the evil as he ran from it to be hid by the steel mountain. And when he showed again from the north side, his eyes blazing toward Hellmouth, his neck forward, and like him, Père Cardinal, and in the west mountain, Il Fiorentino, seeing hell in his mirror, Hello Sordels looking on it in his shield, and Augustine gazing toward the invisible, past them the criminal, lying in blue lakes of acid, the road between the two hills upward slowly, the flames patterned in lacquer, crimen est actio, the limbo of chopped ice and sawdust, and I bathed myself with the acid to free myself of the hell ticks, scales, fallen louse eggs, Pallux Lerna, the lake of bodies, aqua morta, the limbs fluid and mingled like fish heaped in a bin, and here an arm upward clutching a fragment of marble, and the embryos in flux, new inflow submerging, here an arm upward, trout submerged by the eels, and from the bank the stiff herbage, the dry nobbled path, so many known and unknown for an instant submerging, the face gone, generation, then light air under saplings, the blue banded lake under ether, an oasis, the stones, the calm field, the grass quiet, and passing the tree of the bough, the grey stone posts, and the stair of grey stone, the passage clean squared in granite descending, and I threw this into the earth, patet terra, entered the quiet air, the new sky, the light as after sunset, and by their fountains the heroes, Sigismundo and Malatesta Novello, the founders gazing at the mounts of their cities, the plain distance, and in font pools the nymphs of that water rising, spreading their garlands, weaving their water reeds with the boughs in the quiet. And now one man rose from his fountain and went off into the plain, prone in that grass in sleep. Et j'entends des voix, Wall, Strasbourg, Gallifrey led that triple charge, Prussians. And he said uh, it was for the honor of the army and they called him a swashbuckler. I didn't know what it was, but I thought this is pretty bloody damn fine. And my old nurse, he was a man nurse, and he killed a Prussian, and he lay in the street there in front of our house for three days, and he stank. Brother Percy, our brother Percy, Old Admiral, he was a middy in those days, and they came into Ragusa, placed those men, went after the Silk War, and they saw a procession coming down through a cut in the hills, carrying something, the six chaps in front carrying a long thing on their shoulders. And they thought it was a funeral, but the thing was wrapped up in scarlet, and he put off in a cutter. 
He was a middy in those days to see what the natives were doing. And they got up to the six fellows in livery and they looked at it. And I can still hear the old admiral, was it? It was Lord Byron, dead drunk, with the face of an angel. He pulled it out long like that, the face of an angel. And because of that son of a bitch, Franz Joseph of Austria, because of that son of a bitch, Napoleon Barbish, they put him on Hill 70 in a trench dug through corpses with a lot of kids of 16 howling and crying for their mamas. And he sent a chit back to his major. I can hold out for 10 minutes with my sergeant and a machine gun. And they rebuked him for levity. And Henri Gaudier went to it and they killed him and killed a good deal of sculpture. And old T.E.H. went to it with a lot of books from the library, London Library, and the shell buried him in a dugout. The library expressed its annoyance, and a bullet hit him on the elbow, gone through the fellow in front of him, and he read Kant in the hospital in Wimbledon in the original, and the hospital staff didn't like it. Maxi Larman went to it with a bit of heavy artillery and the airman came down with the mitrailleuse and cleaned out most of his company and a shell hit on his tin hut while he was out in the privy and he was all there was left to that outfit and Barham Vanderberg went to it and he was out in the Aegean down in the hold of his ship pumping gas into a sausage and the boatswain looked over the rail down into a midships and he said, Yes, look at the captain. The captain's a getting her up. And old Captain Corcoran went to it with his legs full of rheumatics so much so he couldn't run. So he was six months in hospital observing the mentality of the patients. And Bimmy was 19 when he went to it and his major went mad in the control bit about midnight and started throwing the phone about and he had to keep him quiet till about six in the morning and direct that bunch of artillery.